our number five spot, again, we're halfway there, um, is a coaster that I thought was actually really, really, really cool. I think it made it so high in my list because of one major thing. It's called Theming. Her sheep heart, take notes. Almost none of your ride are themed. Like this ride is probably one of the most, if not the most themed ride at the park. This ride is called Back Lot Stunt Coaster. Again, most Cedar Fair parks have this it's, it's an awesome roller coaster. There's two launches. You go into three helixes. Helixes are where you spin up. Like, you can either spin down or spin up. You get a lot of Gs on those helixes. So, you go into this launch, and it looks like a mini parking garage. And you, 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 so you speed into this parking garage, and it looks like you're going up through the floors as you go up these helixes. And then it's like you're on the roof of the parking garage, and you just drop down into this, like, section where it literally looks like a parking lot, okay? So you're going through this parking lot and there's like police cars that shoot up fire whenever it's working and like they have it, their lights on and there's billboards that you go through and you just, you're like swinging around and then you go into this huge bank turn and come back down. I'll show you guys pictures, but it's amazing. It's a good ride because of the theming. I would probably hate this ride. This ride would almost be worse then, no, I can't say it's worse than the Anaconda without the theming, but the theming gives it so much. And then you pull up into this brake section and you're like, whoa, is the ride over? And it's like, so there's this big helicopter up here with machine guns. And I think that's what they're called. I'm, I'm not a gun person. And then it shoots, it, all you hear is, and it shoots down at you. And all of a sudden you just launch forward, even faster than the first launch into an underground where I think it said subway, but we were kind of going really fast. And you go around underground, you have no idea what's going on. And then at the front of the ride, the first beginning, there's this big, big, big billboard. And it says, Back Lot Stunt Coaster, Kings Dominion, Dolphin, Virginia. And you can fly through that out into another drop. And then you go into this massive bank turn again. And then you hit the break run. This ride was awesome. So amazing, just because the theming, like I've been saying, I uh, let the pictures describe it, like that I show you. I, I can't describe this anymore. This was already three minutes. So yeah, it's just an amazing roller coaster. This coaster has been operating since 2006. It is a steel sit down. The track length is 1,960 feet. The height is 45.2 feet. The drop is 31.2 feet. And the maximum speed is 45 miles per hour. Okay, now we're recording again. So coming at our number four, fourth spot, we have a roller coaster called Flight of Fear, which Alex and I also got a front row on. This roller coaster, my parents actually didn't like um, because of one thing, everything's in the dark. This is themed like aliens doing experiments and you actually go up into the spaceship, okay? And the spaceship is the theming. I probably can't get pretty much any pictures for this, but the spaceship is the theming, okay? And you pull in, you walk up into the spaceship, you get into your train, again, Alex and I rode front row, and they launch you in the pitch black darkness. You go up into this inversion, which is upside down. So I'm teaching you stuff. See, this channel teaches you stuff. Um, you go up into this inversion, and you're like going around in complete darkness. You have no idea where you're going, and you just go, go, go. And then you finally hit the mid-course break run, which is where they slow you down just a tad bit, like, or completely stop you, like some roller coasters <clears throat> glide. Um, not saying any names or anything, but that's another roller coaster in Magic Mountain. That's in California, so let's not talk about that. Um, but this roller coaster will slow you down, almost stop you, and then you go into this another drop. You have no idea where you are, what you're doing, because you're in complete black, pitch black, and then you just 
pulling and it says get off here and then like in this robot voice kind of alienish and then like it's like or like this like dying alien voice in a way and then you get it off and the ride's basically over you're walking to the exit so yeah that's my explanation of flight up here this ride has been operating since 1996. It is a sit-down coaster. Its height is 74.2 feet. The speed is 54 miles per hour. It has four inversions, and the track length is 2,705 feet. Into my number three spot, which I wish I could put this higher, but the number two spot completely beats it. This is called Twisted Timbers. I wish Hershey Park would get one of these so so bad. Twisted Timbers is a thing called RMC, that is Rocky Mountain Construction. Again, Hershey Park, if you're watching this, I'll repeat it. Rocky Mountain Construction. RMC Wildcat. Although I feel like Wildcat's not gonna be RMC because it's the first ever GCI. So I only see probably a retract, which is uh, stinks. Um, but no offense to Wildcat. Again in the video I said I don't like Wildcat. Sorry, Wildcat, let's just go back to Twisted Timbers. So, a little background. Twisted Timbers used to be a really bad roller coaster called Hurler that basically beat you up. So I'm glad we didn't go to King's Dominion. This was the only roller coaster with a line. It was, like, amazing. We probably waited in line for half an hour the first time, maybe 20, no, 15 minutes the second time we rode it. We, but we rode it each time in the middle. The front row lines were just absurd, kind of. I don't even know if I'm using that word correctly, but who cares? Because Twisted Timbers also had an amazing theming. It was themed to an apple orchard. I don't know why that's so amazing in my opinion, but like in the station, when you were walking through the queue line, it was like apple orchard number three, apple orchard number two's over there. And there were trucks like, in the queue line, like, there might be a little space cut out for this truck, and it's filled with apples. And then there's tractors over here. And when you're walking up the stairs, there's this just one tractor hanging down. I have no idea why. And for this, like, another background story, this apple orchard was apparently possessed by some creature. I'm not sure. I really don't know the story. You can go watch that on your own time. I'm just here to give you my top 10. Um, it basically possessed all the wood. Like in the front, there's this tree and it's covered like with RMC type track. It's a weird looking tree and apparently it's taken back its old stuff because maybe it destroyed Hurler or something. I'm not sure. But when you walk up into this, there's this big sign up here. I'll show you a picture. I'll try to. That says, Twisted Timbers in like big, big, big billboard letters. And then when you walk up into it, like it looks like the train basically jet through the whole entire station without any mercy. <laughs> like it literally looks like they got the train to go through the station so fast to make a hole for the train to go through. Um, what time is it? Okay, I'm still good. I don't know why I just wanted to know what the time was. Okay, um, but. So the, the metal is peeling up from the station to let the train out of the shed. I guess the train went wild, but actually the train cars look like a shed, which also look really cool. I mean, not a shed, why did I say a shed? Oh, yeah. They look like a truck, that's what I meant to say, a truck. And so the train cars look like a truck. Yeah. Okay, so they look like a truck. But, what am I saying? I'll just show you guys pictures. I'm, uh, yeah, pictures will do more explaining. Twisted Timbers has been operating since 2018. It is a steel sit-down coaster. It is 111 feet tall, 54 miles per hour, three inversions, and it has a 109-foot barrel loop drop. It has 3,361 feet of track. Coming in at the number two spot, we have an amazing roller coaster called Dominator. It dominates almost every roller coaster but one. Okay, so Dominator is a floorless B&M. Hershey Park, if you've ever been there, only has one B&M. It's called Great Bear. It's an inverted B&M. But Dominator is a really good roller coaster. Uh, probably one of my favorite B&M. I don't know if it beats Great Bear. You'll just have to see. 
um, in my top 10 favorite roller coasters in the world. But Dominator, I can't say too much about it because Picture doesn't do all the explaining. It's just amazing. It's inversion and bank turns after another and the drop is so tall and you go into this pre-drop, you think you're gonna drop and you're like, huh, where's the drop? And you just go all like around. It's, it, it's just amazing. I just have to show you guys pictures. It, it's just great. Well, I, it didn't stop. Dominator has been operating since 2008. It is a steel floorless coaster. It is 157 feet tall. The drop is 148 feet tall. The speed is 65 miles per hour. It has five inversions. The track length is 4,210 oh feet. Probably the best roller coaster in Kingston Indian, if not the best roller coaster in the world. I'm not exaggerating. This roller coaster is actually amazing. It's probably my favorite roller coaster, Starry Storm Runner. Starry? What? No, I meant sorry. Sorry, Storm Runner. But this one's called, wait, suspense. Intimidator 305, 315 feet. The drop is, as you guessed it, 305 feet. Cause Intimidator 305, yeah, yeah. I don't know why they do that, but this is a roller coaster called a Giga. Gigas are anywhere from 300 feet to 400 feet. Um, Skyrush is only 200 feet. So that's called a hyper coaster. It's anywhere from two. No, I said that wrong. Gigas are only 300 feet to 399 feet because uh, strata coasters are 400 to 5, 499. Hypers are 200 to 299. Okay, so now back to Intimidator 305. Not the tallest Giga in the world. Millennium Force is like five feet taller than it. And then uh, Fury 325 is like 20 feet taller than it, which who cares? I mean, this roller coaster is so good. It's called Intimidator 305 because it's probably the most intimidating roller coaster in the world. Like, it goes so fast. It goes a whopping 92 or three miles per hour. I'm not, I'm not sure. I think it's, that might just be 90 miles per hour. But after you go out of this drop, which is 87.3 degrees, okay? So that's almost straight down. That's probably like that. You're like this, just facing the ground, 305 feet up in the air. You're falling at 90 miles per hour. You're like, Aah! and then you pull into this bank turn. At the last second, boom, you just pull into this bank turn. And this bank turn is so hard, so fast. You do something called blackout. Well, most people blackout. I almost grayed out, but my brother actually blacked out almost every time we wrote it. You do something called gray or blackout, which where your vision goes completely gone. They actually had to slow this roller coaster down this season because people were complaining that they blacked out or like they had no idea what's going on. They thought this roller coaster was like deadly or something, I'm pretty sure. So you black out on this roller coaster or gray out where your vision goes completely black or gray. Now, the reason why this happens is because you don't drink enough. My brother, he didn't want to drink anything because he wanted to black out. Like, I actually didn't black out because I did drink one bottle of water before I went on this coaster. Um, I only ever grayed out like twice or three times on a roller coaster. But this roller coaster, I didn't black out. I was so surprised. I was so close to graying out, but I didn't. But you pull in this airtime hill after the bank turn. I'll show you a picture. It goes under the first drop, and this airtime hill is massive. It's one of the biggest, and you just get lifted out of your seat. It's huge, and this airtime hill is so tall. It's probably taller than most roller coasters actual main lift hill drop. It's huge. I don't even know how tall it is. Like, it's just massive. I'll show you pictures. It's great, it's, yeah, yeah, let's just, I probably need to cut a lot of this out. What? This roller coaster opened in 2010. It is a steel sit down. It's 305 feet tall. The drop is 300 feet. The speed is 90 miles per hour. The track length is 5,100 feet.